welcome back do you remember the 10 words that i said just take some time and try to recall in the order that i have told to you okay just take some time and then think were you able to recollect one word two words all the words all right fine now let us look at a technique with which we will be able to remember all of these 10 words in the sequence that i had said it okay i don't know how many of you all noticed but there is a catch here now what was how are we going to associate these and then visualize okay we are first going to associate and then visualize how are we going to associate these 10 words with something that will help us in retrieving the information the best part is associating these words with our body parts okay we'll start with our head brain okay then we will take into consideration eyes so for first point i'll associate it with brain for the second point i'll associate with eyes the third i'll associate with nose the fourth i'll associate with mouth the fifth i'll associate with neck the sixth i'll associate with shoulder the seventh with heart the eighth with fingers the ninth with our belly button and tenth with our back once again your mind i mean your head mind brain whatever you say the top portion of your head then your eyes then your nose then your mouth then your neck your shoulders your heart your fingers your belly button and your back i had told you 10 points now that you've associated you're going to associate these 10 points with the body parts then we will visualize it A along with association we will visualize it first did i what did i say growth mindset brain growth mindset because brain is all about mindset brain growth mindset brain growth mindset the second point that i said was three secrets of public speaking and i have associated it with i now visualize eyes want to see something which is secret eyes want to see something which is secret okay it's secret and my eyes want to see it what are these three uh, secrets these are three secrets of public speaking okay first is brain i'm associating brain with growth mindset and i'm imagining okay my brain is all about growth mindset then it's my eyes and the second point that i said was three secrets to public speaking now my eyes are trying to see these secrets so i'm visualizing my eyes are trying to see the secrets the third point that i said was i had associated with the uh, nose now the three secrets the first secret is content so my nose can smell something which is rich my nose is smelling something which is rich what is rich the content is rich so my nose smells content which is rich rich means something which is very um, pure very spicy okay rich so my my nose is smelling content which is rich the fourth point is and i have associated with my mouth my mouth wants to talk okay that is communicate so mouth is communicating my mouth is communicating now that you've seen this four points let's do a recap my head is trying to imagine so my head growth mindset that is my brain growth mindset brain is growing mindset growth mindset then my eyes want to see the three secrets then my nose wants to smell the content then my mouth wants to communicate now i come to my neck my neck is wearing a medal okay my neck is wearing a medal where it's written confident so my neck medal confident all right neck medal confident so point number 1 growth mindset point number 2 three secrets to public speaking point number 3 content point number 4 communication point number 5 confidence then what did i say i said that our shoulders someone is sitting on my shoulders and wants to connect with me someone is sitting sitting on my shoulders and wants to connect with me so this person who wants to connect with me tells about speak to connect speak to connect okay then i come to my heart i'm speaking with my heart and i want to express myself i want to express myself using my heart speak to express my heart expresses speak to express then what did i say i said my fingers i'm doing magic with my fingers and i'm inspiring people speak to inspire hands do magic 
inspire, speak to, inspire. Okay. Then what is it after my fingers? My belly button. And here is the catch. I have repeated the first point and this point and these are same. Growth mindset. Belly and if you know, your, if your mama has told you that when you were small, when you were not born, when you were inside your mother's womb, you used to eat your food using the umbilical cord which used to get connected with your belly button. So belly button supports in growth. That is why it's growth mindset again. Belly button, growth, growth mindset. And finally, when I know all of these things, I am, I am a king and I am sitting on a throne. So I become a master. I use my back, sit on the throne, I become a master. So now, if I ask you to write down all the 10 points, will you be not able to? You will be able to because now you have associated each of these points with your own body. You've used your brain for growth mindset. You've used your eyes for three secrets of public speaking. Your nose for you want to smell rich content. Your mouth to talk, communicate. Then your uh, neck, you're wearing a medal. That the medal talks about confidence. Then someone is sitting on your shoulder. That is speak to connect. Then heart, speak to express. Then finger, speak to inspire. Then growth mindset again. And finally, you become a master. So this is the technique that many people use to retain information. First to grasp the information, then retain it and retrieve it. And this is known as visualization association. Okay, you're visualizing and you are associating or you are associating and visualizing at the same time. That is why it is said that the capacity of your eye to observe and connect with your brain is far more than when you hear it out. So once again, I'll repeat, you will have to use both these techniques of hearing and seeing, observing things, but you retain more when you see, more when you observe and this helps in your memory building. I hope by now this is clear and try to use these association and visualization techniques if you want to memorize things. Now we move on. There are several other techniques. There are more than 20 techniques that you can apply in order to increase your memory. Due to paucity of time and due to the, the limitations that we as learners have, I will keep it short. You can search in Google, you'll find many techniques. But I am only talking about techniques which you can use at this stage. All right. Another way of visualizing and associating uh, from the one that I gave you an example of is very simple. Okay. You have to create stories. All right. The way I have numbered it using my body parts because you will not for, uh, forget the sequence. Likewise, you can just use numbers to uh, memorize a paragraph, let's say, or memorize a complicated sentence. So just rhyme it. It's visualization association using rhyming technique. So what you do? One, run. You can write fun also. Just write a word which rhymes with the numbers. Two, zoo. Three, tree. Four, door. Five, hive. Six, sticks. Seven, heaven. Eight, late. Nine, fine. Ten, pen. This is what I have written. You can write something else which sounds similar or rhymes with these words. Now, if you have a complicated sentence, what you have to do is you will have to associate, create a story and associate with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, let's say you can create a story and say, use, you will have to use all of these words and create story. That will help you remembering the sequence, the order and the words. All right. And this is a very simple technique, not complicated at all. Association and visualization is one of the best techniques to remember things, best techniques to memorize and best techniques to use your capacity, brain's capacity to learn new things. Try this out with any paragraph that you come across and relate it, associate it, which is related and visualize it. Use rhymings or the one that I taught you, body parts, but you'll have to kind of associate it with this, with small stories like, um, if you want to remember something and you can use he, ra he ran or this he's an animal he he run he ran away and he ran away into the zoo so you'll have to connect also it's not only about visualizing uh, visualization and association it's also connect and then it sat under a tree let's say we are trying to talk about something wherein i'm using animal as an example so i say that uh, the animal dog cat whatever i want to name 
ran and then went to a zoo after it was in the zoo it was from the zoo it was uh, rescued and it sat under a tree then it went and knocked the door so that story you are creating that's not part of your speech but through that story you are memorizing something else so this is known as visualization association and connection please use this technique and you will see that this technique can do wonders for you if you want to remember things okay now moving on there is another technique which is known as repetition and one of the easiest techniques there was a study done by a professor he didn't do the study on his on his students to find out uh, what he had actually uh, discovered but he realized he had given some very silly words okay silly words like d u y e x so these are nonsensical words and then um, d j o j all right these kind of words he had given and he wanted his uh, pupils his students to memorize these words and he found that when these students uh, these students actually memorized all of these he had given some set of 30 words 30 such words these are not easy words to pronounce small words but have no meaning it's not easy for them to pronounce but they ended up memorizing all of these 30 words he had divided uh, the team into two parts the first group the first group memorized these 30 words in 30 eight hours spread across three days so he said that you have to memorize the first group was said that memorize these words in three days another group was said memorize these words in one day now one group took 68 hours and another group took 38 hours but in a span of 3 days this group took 68 hours who spent more time in memorizing obviously this group and this is not efficient memorization technique so what is it then that you have to use you will have to break break it into chunks break the information into chunks you cannot retain everything at if you're given a chapati can you eat the whole chapati at one go you take a bite and then that gets uh, digested you take another bite you you put it inside another bite you cannot eat one whole chapati at one go likewise when you have to retain information when you have to memorize something do it in chunks and do it in intervals repeat every uh, the, the more you hear the more you retain so repeat it repeat it keep on repeating it keep on repeating it but there has to be an intelligent repetition and this is what even um, our uh, what's our this president of united states he also used to do he used to and he used to deliver a lot of speeches okay and his speeches were lengthy he never believed in carrying these papers though he used to but abraham lincoln used to break this information into chunks small small chunks and he only used to spend 15 minutes a day so first he used to do intelligent repetition okay that is and he used to only spend 15 minutes rather than spending the whole day like these people did he used to spend only 15 minutes repeat 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 whatever he is he has written or somebody has given it to him repeat 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 but in shorter intervals so when you memorize some if you want to memorize something if you want to use your brain's capacity take the information in chunks and use only fraction of time because our brain's capacity is very uh, i mean our observation capacity our learning capacity even though brain's capacity is very much we as humans cannot focus so much so do not try to fatigue your brain do not try to over overburden yourself with information break it in chunks take let's say 15 minutes 20 minutes in memorizing these things and repeat the more you repeat the more you remember repeat it but use intelligent repetition judicious intervals 15 minutes 20 minutes depending on your capacity and do not fatigue your brain do not make your brain tired if your brain is tired your whole body will feel tired irrespective of how healthy you are if you have a very fatigued brain very tired brain your body automatically gets tired and um, how your brain functions when you travel from one country to another country okay your body doesn't get that sleep and that is why we call it jet lag when you travel from india to the united states wherein there is a difference of 9 to 10 hours let's say you had started at in the evening here which means you need rest 
when you reach there it's already morning okay and the body now it's morning there but it's actually night in india so you will still not fall in in the morning you will fall asleep but at night you will be awake so your mind your body has been accustomed to that routine your mind doesn't speak to your body in the language that you need to take rest now you will have to you stay awake the whole night because it's morning in india and this happens to all of us that is why it's known as jet lag how your body or and your mind talk to each other how do they respond how do they connect it's very important so when your mind talks to your body and when your mind is fatigued literally your body will not be able to function properly irrespective of how healthy you are so do not fatigue your brain let's say you put a lot of pressure in your brain to memorize these things and you have other things planned for the day it will all get lost because now your brain cannot retain any further information then you will say i need rest i i cannot do it anymore so it's better to divide these information in smaller chunks intelligently repeat words judicious intervals 15 minutes 20 minutes 10 minutes 5 minutes for that matter and do not let your brain get tired the more you are tired your brain is tired the more your body becomes tired now this is a very beautiful again uh, research that has been done and it says that when an information is given to you of the new material or the new information that you have learned or retained or trying to retain we forget more during the first 8 hours than during the next 30 days so the loss of memory happens in the first few hours let's say your information this is the, this is the information that you have got okay all right so this is how it the information the retention falls it will have a steep fall in the first few hours and then slowly and slowly and slowly you will forget the rest of the information that is why what you should do is you should not again fatigue yourself and you should not retain too much of information rather than that you should so what again abraham lincoln used to do is because i i read a lot about him just before his speech okay he used to just browse through and look at the main points just before the speech starts that is how your memory is fresh and you will retain but immediately after you have spoken you might forget it so the uh, just do this exercise with yourself listen to some music and this happens with especially songs when you listen to you you have listened to some 10 songs which one do you remember which one do you think you remember you actually remember the last song and the first few songs you have already forgotten so the information that is given to you at the end is first retained and retrieved however of all the information that you have gathered you forget most of it in the initial few hours so these two things you have to keep in mind if you want to retain something if you want to go for a speech if you want to become someone who doesn't forget his speech just look at the speech and end it there and then go and i mean speech as in the main points if you want to remember and then go and deliver the speech okay and please remember that of all the information that you take you tend to forget major chunk of it in the first few hours all right so your brain is an amazing tool is an amazing organ and it it can do wonders to you it can literally make you go bonkers all right so freshness of information helps you in retention the first the last information that you get you remember that most okay now how do you link so let's say your speech has certain facts how do you link these facts in your speech so if you want to link facts together you ask these questions to you so asking questions to yourself and to the audience is important why is this so so if there is a fact that you want to tell to your audience and you want to remember that why is this so how is this so so why how when where who said it these informations you will have to retain in your mind using these questions then you will never forget it so just decode that fact that you want to tell to your people by asking these questions to yourself why did it happen when did it happen how did it happen to whom did it happen or who said it all these questions when you ask then you can retrieve your information using these questions the first question was who then why uh, sorry why then how then when then where then who so this sequence if you remember then automatically these facts will come to you you will be able to retrieve that information 
So, how do you link your facts by using questions? And this is very important in your speech when you use dates. Okay, you are talking about uh, famous personalities, their quotations and then when you are talking about the quotations, it, you say that this particular person or this famous personality was born on this date because that is a significant date, that is a very important date. How do you remember that date? People tend to forget dates in their speeches, they, they mess it up. It is better not to tell a date if you are not confident of remembering it. So, how again associate? It is all about associating and connecting. Dates can best be retained by connecting them with important dates already firmly established in the mind. So, what you can do is, let us say I was born in the year 1981. So, I will try to remember any other date using this information. So, I know the dates, date of births of my family and myself. I will try to, whichever date I want to remember, I will try to relate it by connecting with it, connecting my date of birth or my year of birth or my family member's year of birth with this particular, the date that I am trying to remember. It will be easier for me than just trying to remember it because your mind has, it is it's a, it's a jungle, it can wander from one place to the other. So, it is better if you connect the dates that you want to remember with the, the dates that you remember really well or your own date of birth because it is established in your mind, it is already there, you can never forget your year of birth, you can never forget your date of birth. So, why not connect it with this particular person's date of birth, then you can never forget it. Then, how to remember key points of your talk and this is where people keep coming ask, uh, and asking me that somehow I forget the key, the main ideas that you had asked us to develop that this is how you develop your main ideas, I have done everything, but when I go and talk, when I go and speak, I forget most of it. Why does it happen? It happens because to her is human, it is it's obvious, you are not super computer that you will retain everything in your mind, but there is a technique to remember all the points of your talk. And there are two ways, first by means of an outside stimulus which is, you are just memorizing it, mugging, mugging it up, okay, you have mugged it up and this sort of thing you might forget second by association with something already in the mind. Now, rather than associating with something new, you already have some information stored in your mind. So, now try to connect already stored information in your mind to this new information. So, either you connect with altogether a new to new or an old to new. And how do you do this? This is where the art of mind mapping comes into picture. You map your own mind and I have and I've told you, it is like you already have an information in your mind, you write it here and then this is how you keep mapping, this is how mind mapping is done. Then you associate with the already known facts or figures or information, then you associate these new information. Once you do that, it becomes easier for you to retain these information, you will not forget it. Okay? Though it comes through practice, but even once or twice if you practice this technique of associating with something that you already know, it becomes easier for you to retain and retrieve your information. Your mind is a computer, that is why I am constantly saying retrieve, 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 you are you're retrieving the information. Now, uh, this is another question that is asked to me several times that irrespective of whatever we do, what if there is a complete breakdown, I mean I have forgotten nothing is that that I can retrieve, it, it can happen. If it happens, do not, do not um, shake or shiver or uh, feel sad or bad and then start palpitating. If you literally go blank, there is nothing that you can do about it if you feel, then it is fine. Let us look at how to deal with that situation. And this is very interesting, this needs a bit of um, practice and technique. So, what you can do is, and I told this in the previous lessons also, if you are completely blank, literally and it happens when you are distracted, what happens when you are talking and your eyes uh, kind of meet someone or falls into something, you, you lose track, you get distracted. That is why I always say that when you are talking, do not concentrate on things or people because their movements, what they are doing will distract you. Distraction happens, it can happen, so avoid it. Let us say you have not been able to avoid and then you go blank, there is a complete breakdown, nothing you can remember. At least you will remember the last word you have uttered, or the last sentence you have uttered. Take that as a cue 
formates formulate something new okay take that word start uh, use your mind your brain and start preparing something new use your last sentence for the beginning of a new sentence this is a trick this is an uh, this comes through practice but if you start doing it your audience will not come to know because they do not know what your speech is going to be all about all they know is the topic because you've told it to them but what is there in your script no one knows so they will not say okay this this person has changed the entire script they do not know so let them not know let them they, they don't even care what you have written in the script they are only there to listen to you so whatever you have spoken the last word or sentence that you remember continue from that build another story do uh, or maybe start talking to your audience and then try to retrieve the information if there is a complete complete breakdown but do not give up do not say i'm so sorry i'm unable to recollect my words do not say that do not apologize for something that is beyond your control okay do not apologize but try to take that word or sentence and frame another sentence even a poor showing is more to be desired than utter defeat means your poor show is better than giving up a very very poor show of maybe not being uh, not being able to whatever you had decided not being able to tell that is better than standing there like a fool and saying i'm so sorry i have forgotten don't do that that doesn't look good okay there was another slide here but i would like to tell uh, about this there is a technique in uh, memorize in memorizing things that's known as mnemonics okay this technique is a very simple technique and i think most of you have also used it that technique is about creating acronyms okay let's say you have to remember the nine planets okay and you write the names of the nine planets but you forget so we've got what we've got uh, sorry mercury as the first planet and this is for children who cannot remember these things mercury then venus earth mars jupiter then saturn uranus neptune pluto now what do you do how do you remember these planets what do you do is you take the first letter of each word first letter of each of these planets m okay so m v e m again j s u n p then use these words and create a sentence which is logical sentence what can we create out of this mother ventured so you've got mercury venus earth um ventured would be a tough word for you we can take some other word and then try to remember all these nine planets so it's kind of a sentence or a story that you will form okay use mother or maybe you you can start using um my okay all right you can say my was all right we for was my wa was um enlightened then my again my friend john so something like that so create a story and when you create this small story using these first mnemonics is the first letter of each word connect and create a kind of a small sentence and try to remember it that will help you never forget it so when you do this you never forget these and this is for your lesson you have to in science you have to remember this in history you have to remember the names of the kings or in order that they had uh, 
may be ruled us. All these things you can remember using mnemonics. Another thing that you can do is, so this is kind of acronyms you, uh, you make or then you can kind of make a small rhyme, all right, using the first letter. So mnemonics could be a sentence, could be a small short rhyme, could be a, a story, but all that you are doing is using the first letter of each word and framing a sentence or a rhyme or a poem to remember whatever you have learned. All these techniques, if you use, you will never forget things. However, you should do certain other things so that your brain or your memory sharpens. And what are these things? Sleeping early, waking up early, eating healthy food and eating almonds. So, there are certain fruits and foods which are suitable for your certain part of your body. Start eating those. Okay? When you eat these kind of nuts, vegetables and fruits, it enhances the, the neurons. I mean, it helps your neurons to grow. It helps your mind to grow. It helps your brain to grow. When you use all of these, mix all of these things, the techniques that I have told, the good food that you eat, enough sleep, exercise, meditation, all combined can and for sure will help you to increase your memory, retrieve information, retain information and never forget your speech. So I'm sure you will use these techniques. Do use it and let us know if it worked for you or not. Thanks for watching.